Okay, boyfriend, that's the app you use. Oh, that's fine. But if there's no, uh, friend, there's a D, F-R-A, nah, there's a, a letter's got you missing somewhere. No, it doesn't. No? Tumblr, There's no, there's no Tumblr is yeah. not a dating app. No, it's true. Okay, Cupid has all the letters. It's got all the letters. Tinder has know all how, the letters. Well, you gotta admit, that like, a lot of apps just take away a vowel. Yeah. Thank you. Diego wins this round. No. One and zero. No. One and zero. No, for the you bowling. can't win the round if I'm if thirty I seconds into it. the podcast and I, I'm leading. I started the joke. I first of all, I got your ass, so that's three points. Oh, got your ass is three. My, for me. Wow. For you, it's different. Oh, because you have a handicap. I have a handicap. Mm, that makes sense. Tinnitus. <laughs> I thought My, I, ha I thought I had it. No, I mean, I you just had it ringing it. in your ear. That was the longest. So, for no real reason, I just woke yeah. up and had intense ringing in my left ear like more so than i've ever had it and i've only had ringing in my ear from like loud noises like the night of a concert like when i i, I, would, I would notice it and from when people talk about you and when people talk about you, go hello uh which is very rare um yeah i would lay down at night like after a show which is rare again i don't like live music yeah and i'd just be like laying down like what the fuck is this buzzing nonsense yeah but i had that when i woke up for no reason mm -hmm. for like about a week it felt like yeah I don't, I don't, I wanted to kill myself. So now imagine that, but like all the time and randomly. No, thank you. Yeah. That's awful. Um, yeah. It's like water torture before your ear. Yeah. Apparently it's different, um, frequencies dying in your ear. Oh, that's nice. That's what the you screeching losing... is. It's me <laughs> audibly losing parts of my hearing. The death rattle of your ability it's... of one of your senses going away. It's my... Uh, Ironic that it's like you could hear your mm -hmm. you losing your hearing. Mm -hmm. It's very it's like, ironic. It tastes like shit everywhere. You're like, oh, you're losing your taste buds. Like, what the yeah. fuck? That sucks. Why are they more intense for ten seconds and then <laughs> they go away? Yeah, what are they? I mean, you know, whatever. You deserve it. You've listened. You've, I you've, don't deserve it. You do deserve it. I'm a good person. That's not what I mean by deserve it. You've no, that's what you mean. When have you, you been to a lot now, of live music shows? You say have you been to a lot of live music in, concerts in 2020? When you tell someone they deserve something, yes. it's because they're a bad person. Because uh, you think they're a bad person. Okay, I do think you're a bad person, but that's I'm a not. separate issue. You can't say that. Right I can now. say I just said it twice. You can't say that I'm a bad person. I think person. Micah Bruce is a bad person. Dude, you're about to fucking get a one way <laughs> ticket to Cancel Town for being fucking associated with me then. <laughs> I'll get this you on my own podcast. Yeah, man. I think Michael Bruce is a bad person 10 seconds ago. This you. <laughs> Every time you said Michael Bruce is my best friend and I love Michael him so Bruce, much. I love him so much. And I don't know how we survived this world without him. And nothing, nothing he's ever done has been wrong. Yeah. All, the <laughs> all the time. Jesus, I'm probably really open. Open up, man. It's fucking hot. Really you it's can't turn the fan on because then you'd hear it. And you're so important as a listener of this podcast. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this podcast, I hate you. We should start just pumping your bedroom. With the AC. That's what I was and thinking. And just do it in your room. Who gives a shit? Oh, just do it in my room? Yeah. Why? Who gives a shit? It doesn't have to be... Or we pump both of our ACs and no, close the window. No, it wouldn't do enough. It wouldn't do enough. To cool. I, I know what to do for. I'm saying... I'm not saying it's it's as good as... No, but if we're going to do it, we might as well just close your door, okay. pump the AC, and pop the pop, go in there and turn it off and do the podcast for an hour. Okay. But... People aren't like married to this visual. No, 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 no. But... From recording at Leif's house, we would do that and it would be hot in 10 minutes anyway. Okay, but his would be on for like 15 minutes because he has another podcast leaving. Yeah, okay. So if we just have your room cooking, which you do anyway. Okay. What? This is an attack. You're an AC guy. Yeah. You're a, a brutal AC guy. It's not even brutal. It's brutal. What temperature do you think I have it set at? I don't know numbers. This is not my strong suit. What okay. temperature do you think I have it set at? 72. 70. Okay. It's pretty close. It can go down to 60, and that's what I used to be. Okay. So, <laughs> first of all, I would put it at 60, and any time a woman would come in my room, they'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, that's nuts. <laughs> they'd be like, why is it like this? And I'm like, because I'm big. I'm thicker than <laughs> Because you. I'm big, and I'm sweaty, and I'm hairy. Mm -hmm. And if it's lower than this, and you're in here with me. Oh, no. I'm gonna sweat on you. You're gonna sweat on. Which one do you want, honey? Hey, sweetie, baby, baby, hey, sweetie, baby, honey, honey, honey sweetie, light baby. of my life, woman. <laughs> Any, every Little woman, angel is, every woman is a gift. Every uh, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, every woman is a gift. Perfect what? being, angel. Yeah. 
I should set it on 69 degrees because it's funnier. It is funnier. It's funnier to set it at 69 degrees. But if it saves, I'm already warm. So if it saves us a little more comfort. Oh, you're already warm right now. I think, yeah. I'm, I'm sweating already. Yeah. I'm I, visibly sweating. Do you think we're funnier when we're comfortable? I don't think I'm ever comfortable. Temperature wise. I, okay. You only, you have only layers of depth. So yeah, you yeah, can yeah. get. Are you funnier as you get more uncomfortable? Not really. No. Um. I don't you know, can be. There's I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you what? You know what? Give me a second. I'm gonna be a fat guy sweat rag. Okay, you're a fat guy sweat guy. Uh, a fucking a real uh, Patricia. No, no. Who's the uh, the piano guy in all the movie? The Keith Robinson. Keith Robinson. Uh, handkerchief. No. Little hand towel situation. Mine is Bruce Bruce style. Bruce Bruce. I do. My, I, I have a handkerchief, Bruce Bruce style. Oh, okay. Oh, or who's the woman on SNL who quit recently? Uh, I don't know. She did a stand-up special where she had a towel like. A oh, glass. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. She was wet. She looked like they dumped a bucket of water on her after every punchline. Oh, well, after every setup. I'll What's say the? Got her. Huh. What? I'm trying to think of the sweatiest stand-up special I've ever seen. Oh. Cat Williams gets really wet. Cat Williams gets wet. But he's also in a fucking full suit. With that's his because Atlanta. he wears like a velour. Yeah. Like the a velvet suit. Least breathable fabrics he could find. He wears like a velvet suit. He and it goes out under lights. Yeah. He tests all his potential suit materials uh, through a parachute test. Where he jumps off and if no wing, if no air can get through, yeah, okay. he's like, that's what I want. Okay. He goes out under and goes, hey, what do you not have here? <laughs> What's the opposite of what you have? <laughs> I want above clothes. Yeah. Not moisture wicking, but moisture creating. It, yeah. I wanted to suck moisture from the air and put it into, onto, onto and into my body. I'm going to do uh, a special in a full suit of armor. Oh, that's fun. Kink. 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 So, ladies. Be so, <laughs> uh, what do you do for a job? Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. That is what you come out of I think the course. funniest part of that is me thinking I'll have a special. Yeah, or doing aggressive crowd work in a special where you, no, where I you think, show them the microphone. I like, think me doing aggressive crowd work in a special wearing a suit of armor is, is, so is exactly what I would want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta find somebody to produce. I gotta find somebody. Somebody. <laughs> just another person to talk to that isn't you or Will. <laughs> just, a just a third person in oh, my life. Oh boy, what a dream. What a dream. What an absolute dream. Um, I love it. I can't wait to we, sweat through this shirt yeah. and have to change it. It's a three-shirt summer. Dude, I was at three. I think I did four shirts the other day. We but worked out twice. We worked out twice. Here's the thing. I'm so proud of you, first of all. Thank you so Can much. Can I say that? I'm Is that proud I am for you? I'm fucking crushing it. Mike's crushing it. Will's crushing it. Will's, Will's crushing it harder than me, but uh, I'm also crushing it. Sure. Wait, so, so my and team, you're doing poorly. I'm doing say. not great. I'd this is the lowest I've ever worked <laughs> out. Um, is that, that is true. It's true. But you're working out... This is the lowest amount of calories I've burned, but I'm working out with weights probably more than ever. That's what I'm saying. I think you're working out harder now. Uh-huh. Because most of your workouts was, were, was in, like, either teaching or in class, and that's not a lot of, like, like, you're not doing weights. No, I'm not class. gaining physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a muscular. You're like, burning, burning, and it's, burning it's a lot of aerobic and yeah. anaerobic stuff. That's why. It's not a lot of, like... Push it like you know. Yeah, that's why I'm the thickest I've ever been. Really? I'm one. I gotta check my weight again. I, was about I, I gotta check my weight. Wait, wait. So, so like I said, I'm taking um, big shit now. I check my weight. Uh, P weighs more than shit. Um, so is that true? Yes, that's a fucking weight cutting secret. Don't worry about the the poopy. It's the pee pee. Yeah, yeah. But right. when I poopy, I also pee pee. That's true. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this about me. They don't know. A lot of people. Here's the thing. I, you know, there's been, there's been a lot of questions about of about me in regarding to the bathroom recently. <laughs> and I will say this: when I poopy, I also pee pee. So do with that information what you will. But in regards to if you're curious, in regards to poopy, there is <laughs> there's in pee -pee. conjunction there is pee pee. There will never be a poo poo without a pee pee in this house. Okay, the only time I've ever <laughs> a dry, a dry done, a, done a done a dry two a D two the mighty ducks is it, every time I've ever done a D two the mighty ducks <laughs> is if I've gone and pissed oh uh oh I go I go and piss yeah and then I like leave the bathroom turn, yeah, and yeah. then like a minute later I'm like no this is a this is a fucking I'm, I'm about to Emilio Estevez this is a jab cross a one two situation yeah 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 this is... <laughs> um, I'm about to Depeche mode my pants. <laughs>
don't know what that is doing. Right. Just, I, that, that's, that's not funny. funny. That's yeah. not funny. Okay, so the point I'm trying to get across is yeah. Like, let me just say, is my uh, the gym I work at, the gym uh-huh. I teach and train out of Williamsburg, I may, well, like everyone else, and, and we understand, is a, and we're having issues with rent because for some reason, people still want rent, even though no one is making any money. It's mm-hmm. interesting. Um, mm-hmm. So we're behind on our rent uh, about three and a half, three months. Um, so we did a GoFundMe. We put up a GoFundMe mm-hmm. to, to see if anyone, if you could you know, spare a little bit. We're way closer to our goal than I thought we'd ever be. In in this time frame. In this moment. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. this quickly. And this, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I am supremely appreciative. So my our friend, Shane Smith, friend of the pod, mm-hmm. um, hit me up and volunteered his time and effort to help make a video to share on his platform, because he has a huge platform. Um, like a deck. To, to help raise awareness, or raise awareness, but help get attention to the GoFundMe and see if we can get some more money. Mm-hmm. Um, so Mike and myself uh, went to my gym. I haven't been there in a while. It was very nice. We did a funny little video, which you can see on both of our Instagrams. And I think 60 people within the hour donated. That's great. Which is huge. So appreciative. Um, but then we're like, oh, we're already here. Let's fucking get a pump on. Let's get a pump on. So we did some just some simple bench. I haven't lifted heavy in forever. It yeah. felt so nice. This bench. I did the goofy... Leg, leg extension leg extension and the leg press leg extension leg press um i think so the leg press when you were like i think that's a bit too much weight without warming up i was like i got this and i did get it but the next day my lower back was pretty tight yeah I mean, you're, you're not at a point yet where you can just fucking lift without warming up most people aren't most i know what you're talking about dude but i've, so, ne- I've never been stronger that's true we worked out we came back here I don't think and that's true. earlier in the like, earlier in the day will it has been like popping in and be like, working out today? And I go, yes, because I don't say no. Yeah. Um, and we got back, I sat down, and within 20 minutes, we was like, we walked in at night, I'm like, how are you feeling? Are we doing a workout? And he goes, yeah. Yeah, because he asked us to do a dusk workout mm-hmm. earlier in the day. Mm-hmm. So we did it. We went, so on the we roof did it. we went on the roof and did a fucking good, solid really kettlebell workout. Crushed ourselves. Pushed hard. And was like, that was the most tired I've been in forever. Like, coming back and showering, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. To, I was pretty... So, I think... Mo- Monday, this past Monday, is when we did the the big leg workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was, the I think, the sorest I've been. Yeah. But, yeah, f- yeah, Friday, when we did two workouts, I think that, yeah, that was the most, like, drained I've been. Yeah. Like, I was, like... It was a thing where it was, like, we finished working out. I already... I, like, sweat threw a shirt at the gym and mm-hmm. I was like time to change shirts and I came here and immediately sweat through that shirt yeah but it was the thing where we went up on the roof and we worked out and it, I was like oh if I don't take a shower right now I'm gonna fall asleep soaking wet on the couch oh, yeah, like yeah. I have to go take a shower you have to do it I took a fucking cold shower feels great right Wim Hof Wim Hof method we're, the, we're a Wim Hof household oh what I want to say before you were saying how the how the gym is behind on rent. Yeah. If you think about this, behind is another word for ass. Yeah. That's it. Our gym is ass on rent. Their gym their gym is ass. Oh, it's also the link is in my bio on both my Twitter and Instagram. If you want to throw a couple bucks, I really appreciate it. That means the world to me. Thank you so much. It's my favorite place in the whole world. It means the world to me. Um, I would like to continue uh, having a job that I love. I'm very lucky. I understand that. I appreciate that. Um, if you notice also, new setup. Mike got a little table. Okay, so here's our situation in our living room. We had- We got a, we have a lot of situations. We have so many situations. Okay, call me fucking- Mike. Mike. <laughs> call me Mike. Mike Santino, there it is. Because I got a puffy face and a situation. I have better abs than him. Let's talk about that video later. Okay, so we uh, got a new television last year. The yeah. stand that the television used to be on wasn't wide enough for the new television. So we switched the television stand for the coffee table. Okay. Which we should have just bought it. Looking back on it, I mean, now I say this with having the most amount of money I've ever had in my sure. entire life. But we should have just bought a TV yeah. stand and a coffee, a new TV stand and a coffee table. Sure. Uh, Hindsight's twenty twenty, my friend. Yeah. Um, so, oh, the 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 tiny weird entertainment system we were using as a coffee table was the, that was not held together at all. It was if you moved it, it would fall apart. You, literally. Um, that's like a. A rage trigger for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really yeah, is it like anything like that where if you just move something, it falls apart. Where it's like, I just immediately, I'm like, oh, I'll just fucking stomp a hole in it. Yeah. 
What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. You get out of the house. Mike is that's doing, pretty good. Mike's doing something. I haven't done that in a while. You've been pretty good lately. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, and then so Mike orders. Uh, it's not for you. I don't give a shit. Um, it does make me feel. Uh, okay. I feel anxious when someone around me is losing it. Yeah. Um, Which is weird because you're my best friend and we live together. We live and together. And I put my little headphones in and go la 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 yeah. la. la. Um, you were very kind and bought these little side little coffee tables we've been using. They're very yeah. cute. And as someone who was the person who was moving the big kitchen table into the living room, I'm like, yeah, I'd love not to do that anymore. Um, it also is falling apart too. We have a lot of tables that suck. The, ta so the, the table to suck ratio. The table that we used to have here is our kitchen table. And I believe I bought it in 2008. Wow. And I got it from the Goodwill in Albany. Beautiful Albany. So I can only imagine. You bought, yeah, you bought a used table in 2008. Yeah, and it's still here. It's still here. We got our money's worth for things, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, buddy. We're green in that way. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to have a nicer kitchen table, but also we don't really eat at it. Yeah. No. And it looks fine. You know what I'd rather have than a kitchen table? Okay, so there's two things I'd rather have than a kitchen table. Yeah. One, those stainless steel restaurant like islands. Yeah. Cutting board, cutting table thing with, I love those. B, would be a pizza uh, restaurant booth. I would love a, see, I would love a pizza restaurant booth, but the here's the only thing. Not a space. Not enough space. Well, you could have a two-person one. That'd be perfect. If you have a two-person pizza hut. But pizza here's the thing. Yeah, please. Please? You would have to do, like, <clears throat> all of the cutting. That If you do any cutting at the table, you'd have to do it at the pizza table height or in the little chair, which I think would be bad. What if I, use cut, I do cutting on the, the surface. But sometimes there's stuff on the surface. Yeah, okay. That's, I don't see that as much of a... No. A I just heard to if someone was offering us a pizza booth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. If you're I, offering it, please. If you're offering a pizza booth that we can get through this fucking door, we're taking it. Yeah. But or if you have one of those stainless steel restaurant. The, my house. only thing about that is I do like to eat at the kitchen table sometimes. It's true. So I don't want to have to eat food on the couch every day. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's the only thing. Sometimes I like to just sit at the table. That's true. You do. You do. It's nice. I don't think it's impossible to sit at that kind of table. But it's but. not. It's uh, not the same. It's not the same. Maybe a it's little. not conducive to a good meal. It won't conducive. I feel like I'm on break if I'm eating at that table. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. I'm on break and I have to eat you it. Yeah, your table's eat it like, uh, uh, Take your appetite eating over. early. I'm eating chicken fingers out of the bus tub again. It took me a while to get out of the habit of eating in a rush when I was working at restaurants for so long. Oh, yeah. I feel like I still do eat in a rush. Yeah. Because I want it. Because I, I want love, the food. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's been sick. The, qu the quicker you eat the food, the more it stays at the same temperature. That's true. There's so. two things I despise in a meal. Uniform texture, okay. uniform temperature. I like... See, that's crazy. Different temperatures and textures. The different temperature thing is crazy. Is it? I think a little bit. I think it depends on the kind of food. Because sometimes you'll take hot food and just make it cold to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Which is crazy. I don't think it's like a bad thing. No, I know that. But I agree. I agree. I won't, I won't defend that. I think that... Every, hmm, I don't know. That's a, you know that's a bold statement to say everyone in the world has weird food things. I think a decent amount of people I have think, weird food things. I think most of the people I've met in my life have some kind of odd food thing. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. So some way more than others, and some way more sure. severe than others. No, I mean that's fair. Um, I've been meal prepping. Yeah. This is my first week of trying to do meal prep. I've never been a big meal prep person for a couple of reasons. Is a meal prep when you um. You make a meal in a blue yeah. blazer and and brown loafers. Oh, a different prep. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, is, okay, is a meal prep when you um, yeah, eat, eat food to prevent the spread of the HIV virus? That's good too. That's another one I didn't go. I was going bunker, like going to. Uh, oh, interesting. Doomsday meal prep. Mm -mm. I don't know. We got we got three jokes that were you know whatever. Um, I think the spread of the HIV virus one is the worst. Yeah, probably. Just because the word HIV is conducive to people thinking you're homophobic or like... No! I know you're not. I'm just saying... I'm people, not. That's what it's trying I mean... No, I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait a second, actually. So I don't like meal prepping because um, I feel like food is most nutritious when it's... Uh, you freshly eat, eat it immediately after cooking it, basically. Yeah. And B, I don't microwave food. You don't like leftovers. I don't like leftovers, too. That's three. 
Now, I don't, I, I, for some reason, I can get around the leftover thing in this because I haven't, like, eaten any of it. You know, I don't know. But there's something about it. Is it because, okay. Hmm, interesting. Is it because... I can't fully explain yeah. what my issue is with leftovers. I would like to... No, I would like to break this down a little bit. Okay. I'd like to try to figure sure, this out sure. because I am intrigued. Okay. So do you think you could do this rather than eating leftovers is because it's not the same portion? Like, it's not like... So, like, say you get, like, a chicken parm and pasta. Mm -hmm. A delicious meal. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, it's like a chicken, like a, not like a chicken parm sandwich and pasta. Oh, oh, oh. I'm talking about just, like, yeah. chicken parm. I always see chicken parm as sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but, like, a, like you know, a chicken parm yeah, yeah, okay. uh, over, over pasta. Over pasta. Um, and say you eat half the pasta and half the chicken parm. And then you put the rest away. And then you eat, so you won't eat that second half. Because it's leftovers. Possibly. Yeah. But this is like you cook one big batch and it's like you're not like, I don't know. Here's where I think. You know issues. what? No. Because it's basically the same thing. Yeah. Here's where I think my issues. Yeah. I think it falls into the feeling of, I do, or it falls to the, the, the idea of like, I don't, I despise feeling like uh, when I was a kid when we were like, we don't have any money. Yeah. And anything that reminds me of that, I kind of uh, hide myself from. I get away from it. So like. When you're a kid and you're like you have you have to eat that. Yeah. We don't have Anything. much other. You yeah, have yeah, to yeah. Eat this. It's this or nothing. Yeah, I kind of like well, like, I think that's what it's like I don't I don't need to I, I can I can pay for shit that I wanna eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but this is different I guess. But I made uh sweet potato mash, I made steamed broccoli and the the beyond sausages, the beyond meat sausages and just pop 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 spread them out between four containers. Yeah. Um it's been nice not to have to cook one fucking meal every day Dude. and just pull it out. And it's, I love soup. I love the soup potato and like a veggie and a, and a fake, like it's just like my favorite thing to eat. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to make maybe some green beans later instead of broccoli. The broccoli has a good amount of protein. They've got like both. Interesting. Um, Ooh, I, yeah. I so I don't microwave it. Here's what I did yesterday. Cause I had one. This is, this, this is, is where it's weird. This is crazy. This is crazy. And I'll admit it. I'll admit that this, this is, crazy. is so fucking weird. I'll admit it. I mean, right. this is weird. So I don't <laughs> I don't microwave food. I think the microwave kills all nutrients. I don't know if that's true, but it's that's in my head. so insane. I that's like that. the same way where my dad would make me leave the kitchen when the microwave was on, uh, but he still let me eat the food that was in the microwave. Yeah, I'm doing both. I don't I don't get near it. I don't fucking eat it. I can't. I tried the first meal uh, just right out of the fridge, cold. Yeah. Edible, not great. I'll admit it. Yeah. But yesterday, I just popped it in the sun in the window. For about an hour, insane. let it get down to room temp. Fantastic, a fantastic little meal for me. Insane. Where's the meal? Where's it right now? It's in, in the, the window, room. getting some vitamin D, and I'm gonna eat it. It's gonna go in me. But you don't think it actually gets more vitamins? No, okay. no, I don't think that at all. Okay. <laughs> I don't Thank think that fucking god! I, I just to, believe... I was gonna have to do some real soul searching if you thought putting it into the sun gave it more vitamins. <laughs> no, I just I really... I've really hitched my career. To a mentally deficient man. <laughs> oh, like I haven't. <laughs> yeah. um, I just don't like microwaves. I, I don't have any uh, solid concrete evidence that microwaves. Yeah, there's none. There's none. I just don't like it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man. I love microwaves. I like to put my head in them. I like to turn them on, put my head in it. You try to kill yourself by putting your head in the microwave. I like to oven. turn it on the microwave, try to keep the door open and put my penis next to it. Hopefully it kills all my sperm. I like to do that. Um, what if it made them better? Like when you came... They answer a lot of questions. It, yeah, that's true. You want to do this? Um, yeah, sure. I don't know if we're done with the microwave thing. but oh, yeah. No, no. Now we're done. Now we're done with the microwave. Can you use one of the coasters that you so kindly purchased for the home? Look at you. Um, did I do last one? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think we've done one of these br this brand before. Yeah, I don't mean we've even done this flavor. All right, whatever. I, I don't it's care. It's hard to tell now. And then fucking do whatever. Also, it's hard. There's a list of ours, and it's hard to read. It's hard to read. Not that it's hard to read the list. It's hard for me to read words. Dude, preaching the choir. Also, we're we're near the house. We're not going that far. We yeah. can't. It's not nice. So we have Venom. Venom Energy Fruit Punch, the Death Adder. Number one, own it for 99 cents. Uh, 99 yeah, cents? It was 99 cents. Beautiful. 99 cents energy. Two, 20, 220 calories. Uh, Damn, they're fucking really bad. Uh, that's okay, yeah. 
It's a decent amount of calories. Yeah, yeah, but I was thinking like versus a Red Bull, but the big Red Bull is still smaller than that. Okay. So it's probably um, Venom Death Adder. When you want lightning fast reflexes, you need the intense energy of a Venom Death Adder. I feel like I do need it. Venom delivers a powerful payload of taurine, guarine, L-carnitine, ginseng, and B vitamins in a delicious fruit punch, fruit punch flavor. Take on the world and own it. Venom Death Adder, I design and Fang Design are all trademarks of Dr. Pepper or Seven. Whoa, company. Dr. Pepper! Oh, it's a Dr. P! That's a Dr. P. Hey, DP. Man, I remember when they used to make the venom with real sugar? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I get a Mexican venom? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's gonna taste fucking really good. Fuck yes. Yes. Here's the thing. It's just juice. Uh, it's just juice. It's just juice. It's the Kool-Aid man bursting through both ends of the wall. Hawaiian punch energy. Yeah, man. It's fucking yes. kicks ass, man. My dick is hard as I shit. I love it. Oh, my eyes are screaming. Yeah. I can smell better. Dude, just make everything fruit punch. Stop fucking around. Yeah, man. That's a fun bevy. Daddy likes a bevy. 3.75. That's my... Oh, that's your... Yeah, three point seven five. Oh. Um, that's how many centimeters my I penis is. I, I think that's exactly accurate. You think my penis is exactly 3.75 centimeters. When you're hard. Um, Here's the thing about my penis. I don't know how big a centimeter is. It's bigger... Hard? Soft. Mm. Than it is hard. It's like those... Yeah, man, that's um, cool. What are those things called? Which works because you can't get hard, so there you yeah, go. Yeah, they're called shrinky, shrinky dinks. That's not what my penis is. I like a mercy story. Shrinky dinks. Put them in the stove and your penis is smaller. There you go. Have fun with that. Come it's on. a little sour. Come on, give me more of the fucking, the, the, the fucking juice of life. Mmm, then the Lord's nectar. Mm -hmm. A little tart. It's nice. Man. 90, that's really 99 cents. 99 cents is the perfect price for things. We How much you support want to pay. Venom Energy plus Fruit Punch. Death Adder, more cents. like hard cock, baby. Death Adder, more like fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Call me by your name. How about fuck me by act two? <laughs> oh, I'm a lady joke. Uh... <laughs> That's it. I'm just making sure it's still going. Beautiful. I think we're a little low on battery. What's your favorite energy drink? Comment below. Um, and also, who's your favorite? And uh, what's your favorite energy drink? And who's your favorite of the Three Stooges? There you go. Tropical Red Bull Mo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Fruit Punch Mother Larry. Yeah. Um. Just, oh, man, I'm fucking. I'm gonna. Be honest with you. Woo! There's no way it's not a placebo effect, but Woo! I feel better Does and more alive. Fucking, are you kidding me right now with that? Bro, I'm what? fucking pumped to the gills. I will say this. White shirt summer! You are having a white shirt summer. Yes, sir. I will say that. What would you say? We've worked out seven times together? In this, in this, in this in quarantine, the, in the recent no, not it's just in like the last two going weeks. up to the roof. Yeah, it's, it's a fair number. Six, seven, seven, seven yeah, that's between seven and ten. Yeah, maybe between six and ten. Because you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, oh, I will say it has made me way more confident already. Oh, no way! Just standing up straight. Standing up straight, right, dude? Literally nothing has changed about my body, but I'm like, look at that. Now this is a now this is a machine of strength. That's what it is, dude. Working out fucking sick. If you don't work out, you should work out. It's sick. It Here's the thing. Good. Here's the thing, though. It's hard. It's, okay. it's hard and it sucks. It sucks ass. I don't like it. It's not enjoyable to me. Oh. Here's what a, a beautiful lesson. But it work. makes me so fucking horny. Yeah. It makes my fucking dick. Yeah, it's so hard all the time. All the time, baby. You're in my world. <laughs> Dude, people I mean, online are like, why are you so horny? I'm like, give them no idea how much I work out. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Um, yeah. Nature uh, nature rewards, okay? That's not nature true. Rewards. Nature also invented cancer. Yeah, who gets it? People that don't fucking know. <laughs> Lance Armstrong, a man who did nothing wrong ever, got testicular cancer, the worst kind, because it only affects men. <laughs> Patriarchy, my ass, testicular cancer exists. Um, no, we're gonna get sick. You're horny all Where's the, time. the white ribbon for men, yeah. <laughs> men with testicular cancer? Um, fuck, what was the point I was about to make? Oh, in, working out immediately teaches you a very important lesson, which is the moment may be bad, but the result of the moment is a bigger good. 
but the results take so long. It takes a while, but what in this world is immediate that Jacking. also is great? Jacking, Jacking off. off and a Venom Fruit Punch Death Adder. Looks like we fucking figured it out. A roulette, winning at roulette. Let's give them a slogan. De death Adder, make your cock hard. Venom, Death Adder. Drink it, idiot. How's that one? I like it. Venom, Death Adder, your ex is happier without you. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Venom, so Death Adder, God's dead, drink fruit punch. <laughs> God's dead and Satan's waiting. Um, God is dead and one day you will be too. <laughs> <laughs> suck off a can, you piece of shit. Uh, all the energy. Oh, that's funny to say. Suck, suck off a can. Suck off a can. Yeah. Because you won't. What's that? What's the brand says? It? It's a kick in a can. Who's that? Ooh, I don't know. It's a kick in a can. More ours is it's a cock in a can. It's, a <laughs> it's like one of those penises. It's like one of those uh, peanut brittles full of snakes, but it's it's <laughs> penises instead. Cock in a can. Cock in a can, baby. Let me see what a kick in a can is. Yeah, that's something. I don't... I don't doubt you. I just don't remember Thank what you. it is. Um, what would you say in terms of the working out movements that we... E-boost natural nootropic energy drink? Let me see. Show me the picture. Is it white and green? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. is it that? Yeah, because I see that food story all the time. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like Sprite Remix. That's fair. It sounds kind of what it was like. You're kick in a can. Um, a kick in the can is how a British person would say that they're going to beat you up. Yeah. I'm going to give you a kick in the can. That's what I call taking a dump. A kick in the can. Dude, I really have to kick the can. <laughs> Buddy, I got to kick the can. The can. Well, what would you say your favorite movement we've done in working out yet is? Um, I would say our collective movement towards the singularity. That's true. Closer to God. That's pretty fun. What's my favorite movement to do? Or least favorite. Is there any, which we talked, talked about the most this already, of, didn't we? Have we talked about this? Yeah, we talked oh, about my least favorite. Okay, okay. Yeah, that? I think last episode I talked about how much I hate windmills. Yeah. And how much I hate oblique lifts. Well, we were talking about meal prepping, and I think you, made a, you brought up a good point. How Because we, we made a watermelon smoothie. Um, also, we shouldn't... I personally shouldn't drink that before we work out anymore. Okay. Because I felt like I was going to throw it up the whole time. Do you think? Okay. okay. But also it was our second workout of the day. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, but it's, I also think that my stomach is very sensitive to what I put in it before I work out. I agree. I think so. Yeah. Um, so you made a point of like, we're, we're going we're, we're gonna to be meal prep boys. Yeah. Oh, I we're just bought some protein powder too. You got some protein powder. Very excited for you. Uh, have you tried it yet? No, I've been waiting to Try get- Try the podcast! No. Oh, it'd be funny. I don't want to- Okay, one second. What if I mix it with this? No! <laughs> okay. Do I have to really try- No, I'm not gonna no, try it. No, no, no. I'm not gonna try on the podcast, because what if I fucking throw it up and then don't like it anymore? You're not gonna like it. Yeah. So that's why- That's why- You've already told me I'm not gonna like it. So that's why I want to get stuff to make smoothies. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put it in there, and mm -hmm. then I can at least, like, dislike it less. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think a smoothie a day is a very good way of getting some uh, nutrients and calories and vitamins in. I think it's an easy way to... Also, it's just like, oh, fuck, it just made it. It takes like five minutes to make. Yeah, it's simple and quick. Yeah. Frozen foods. Yeah, so... My, what... my, the, 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 the thing I was telling you about my opinion in terms of... Because I've been, I've been you know, very protein shakes for years now. Yeah. Um, I've taken kind of a hiatus from them during the last couple of months or so. Um, with protein powder, I'd rather... Dump, just dump it with water and fucking chug it in a minute. Yeah, I can't do that though. Then mix it with a bunch of nice fruits and veggies that I would have enjoyed the flavor of. Right now I have to nurse it. Yeah, but for me, this is the pill inside the slice of cheese. For sure, for sure. And That's I get this. And is. I'm encouraging that. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'd rather have one minute of a lot of discomfort than five minutes of, of minimum or, or neutral or mid, uh, a midline discomfort. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I okay. think I can power. It's easier for me to power through something that's fine for sure than for to sure. do something that's really awful. Yeah, and again, it's not really awful. Yeah, I just think you haven't trained your palate no. for this type of, of thing. No, got myself some Vegas Sport. Vegas Sport. I want to try. There's one I keep getting ads for. It's called Form, and it just looks very interesting, and the advertisement's very like. Uh, non-aggressive and okay. it's won like a bunch of awards for being best flavor I'm like, oh, interesting. interesting 
Again, I don't care that much about flavor, but I would like to see, because I love a Soylent, I love a Ripple, but those are five bucks a pop. Yeah, that's the thing where I had the strawberry Soylent, and the first, like the, it was weird, because like, the first sip, I liked it. The second through fifth sip, yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. And then I liked it enough. Mm -hmm. A lot of boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and I think here is I love medium. Yeah, yeah medium, medium is fine. It's you, you, you really gotta start training your brain and recognizing why are you eating this? Is this so I can take a shit to satiate my body or is this to ple please my tongue? I hate this. Two questions. I hate having to think about stuff. You, I know, I know that. You, I look hate at, it. I know it. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, why am I eating this? Because I because it's a bag of chips. Because it's, it's here. It's fun. Because <laughs> it's a bag of chips and I love it. Mm -hmm. It's dish of me. Protein chips? They do. They make them. Everything is, I mean, not everything, really, but like, there's no protein candles. They should, make, yeah, they should make protein Doritos. Protein Doritos. They should make protein Red Bull. Protein they Red should Bull. make protein Taco Bell. Protein Red Bull exists. Protein Taco Bell is just food. No, I'm talking about Taco Bell <laughs> with protein powder in the beans. Oh man, ew. Like how you mix turmeric into stuff and it doesn't really change the taste that much, but it's supposed to help. Yeah. Like that, but with protein powder protein in the black beans. I mean, those like. I've been to Taco Bell so long. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They'd be donating to Trump, though. They'd be donating to Trump, so. Bye bye. Um, but where else am I going to see a, a bunch of patchy, bearded teens playing Magic the Gathering? Yeah, man. I, well, I got to know what the best Yu Gi Oh cards are. I guess uh, it doesn't matter right now because there's nobody inside. Nobody inside. Bye. So all of the. Um, the culture you get from yes. from Taco Bell we're missing out on is is gone. It's, it's like, loot. Where, where am I going to see a teen in a very large Viva La Bam hoodie? <laughs> Where'd you get that? Um, how how do you even know what this is? You're so young. <laughs> you you, you were born after Don Vito died. Yeah. You were oh, you, you were born after he wasn't allowed to punch Phil anymore. <laughs> um. Wow, wild, wild, wild. What? what I wonder about? ethically what's the best fast food restaurant? None. none. Ethically, ethically none. Ethically none. Ethically none. Ethically talking... none because there's, I mean, if we're. Shake Shack for poisoning those cops, that's pretty sick. Yeah, are we talking our ethics or ethically in general? I mean, up to uh, either. Because for us, there. What's what that? Place? Oh, this. Oh. It gets a little pressure. The sweet bottle. The flashlight. Your Gatorade flashlight. Yes, sir. Um, for our ethics, I don't think there's any ethical fast food chain because all of them serve meat and cheese. For sure. Very good point. But it's like my my veggie grill bar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My bar for uh, what's the word? Um, not supporting, but eating at an establishment isn't that high. Yeah. If you have vegan options, I think that's great because it opens. It might, someone might be like, oh, yeah, but, you, but yeah, but you what? said the most or the best. Mostly just, yeah, yeah, I guess, good point. Yeah. I so I'm saying, saying don't for, support I, Trump is all I'm asking from a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, I'm, if I, if, if that's my logic, then I could never eat it anywhere. I, could, I couldn't eat anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to go to only vegan stores. Yeah, yeah. Which, fuck, no thank you. Yeah, because it's like, first it's of all, lot. come on. It's a lot. Second of all, they're all gone. They're all dead. There was one, and it's gone. It's gone now. Man. Weird. What else are we talking about on the podcast? I don't know, man. All right. All right. Is there been anything else? I, I mean, there's been a lot. Bad things. Yeah, yeah, but we talk about bad things all the time on here. So should we shoot down? I don't know, man. It's up to you. Okay. We got to fucking fill the time, I'll tell you that. Good point. We fucking, we really got to fill the time. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, we drank that drink too early. We drank that drink too early, but it gave us some fun. I was just the the the. Uh, um. It sucks because we're supposed to be fun. Yeah, but, but it's, it's hard. It's hard right now. It's so hard. There's so many. Because I spend things. all day beaming awful news into my brain. Mm -hmm. But I would feel like a coward if I wasn't. Right. Trying to ignore and hide from it. Yeah. And that's our just, yeah. As men, white, white appearing. I don't think it has to do with gender. Well, I think I think the comedy thing does. Well, the comedy thing definitely does. Because it's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, it's a, we're, we don't have to worry about that happening to us. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the Joey Diaz one, the video is fucking rough. It's rough. Here's because people are like doing the thing where they're like, oh, PC culture is ruining comedy. Uh, okay, let's hypothetically, let's say that video. If you haven't seen it, it's Joey uh, Red Band and Joe Rogan, and it's a podcast. It's years ago, and and, and Joey's admitting to. Um, Hmm. Giving stage time only if a female comedian would blow him. Yeah. That's what he's admitting to. Am I, if I'm wrong, and it's not wrong, please let me know, but that's what it seems like. Yeah. Fully admitting to that. Um, let's say hypothetically, he's like, uh, it's comedy. It's like, were you joking then? Yeah. Like, by joking, I mean, did this not happen? Yeah. Because that's something you should be saying after that is said out loud in a video, or at least say it now. I haven't seen him say anything about, like, this did not happen. I did not. This wasn't a natural or No, he thing. tweeted something like, hey, if you hate that, you're really going to hate this. Yeah, it's he a, tweeted something out. Jesus fucking Christ. It's an awful thing. Like, it, why, are you why are you defending and protecting these fucking shitty dudes just because they make you laugh? Yeah. And he will make you laugh. He's just a cocksucker. Oh my God, hilarious. Yeah. Fuck himself. Yeah, and it's... It's just like so... To defend... That's the worst... Not the worst part. The worst part is doing it. Doing it, yeah. But to, I mean, we, we talked about this last episode with the Crystal Leo thing. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. To defend them is insane. It's so weird. What do you get out of it? Yeah. It's so funny looking at Twitter threads or, or arguments where it's like, uh, awful thing, uh, woman condoning awful thing, cartoon avatar defending the comedian. Yeah. Woman, a different woman condoning or, or, or arguing against that and then yeah. a different white guy cartoon avatar. Like, it's just like. Yeah. Exactly who you think is going to defend these people are defending Yeah, them. it's that, like, insane, like, um, just thinking, like, because there have been false allegations before, Yeah. now people think that every allegation is false. Yeah, it's so, like... It's insane. It's also so funny. But it's also the thing where it's like... Sorry, my shorts are really in my pussy. Really up in my pussy. Really up in my pussy. Um, people online think being like, they think it's the same as like if I if if someone's like, hey, Crystalia was accused of having sex with underage girls and texting them and mm -hmm. asking for nudes and asking and asking them and propositioning them for sex. Yes, a lot of people have have said he was grooming them but i think that i mean i'm not like a i think grooming seems more like a, over a long period of time yeah. to me yeah but i could be wrong in either way sure <laughs> what he did was wrong yeah just from what my definition of of like not my but you know like what I, my uh, underst my understanding of what grooming is it seems more like long a like term. a long term really intentional thing yeah and this seems like a guy who leveraged his power yeah again to have sex with young women yeah his or young girls and young women his, his grooming is being in a city to do stand-up looking at his phone at what women he's talked to that live in that city and go away and then or fucking teenagers yeah i mean like it's so weird because we i've had the word girl almost like beaten out of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. my brain when Women, when describing women. anyone, you know. Yes, they're girls. But they are girls. Um, that's but so that's well, to say young women is like that means a nineteen year old and not yeah. a not a, a, a I mean, fucking 16. sophomore in high school. Right. Yeah. But so like. Oh, so my point from before before I fucking went off on five tangents, but I think people online, the people that are defending the comedians or defending whoever think that you saying this person has been accused of this or this person did this is the same as them being sentenced in a court. Right. Like they right. are like, where is the proof? Like I don't need proof. Uh -huh. I don't need hard video evidence. Right. I'm not a news organization. I'm not a news organization. <laughs> I'm not. If you're like, hey man, there's a bunch of screenshots. Mm -hmm. That's enough for me to be like, fuck this guy. Yeah. That's 
Uh, yeah, I'm not uh, going in my car and going to go kill him. I'm I'm not going to bring him to prison myself, yeah. you know, like, but it's enough to be, there's a video of a guy being like, I wouldn't let women go on stage at the comedy store unless they sucked my dick. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, fuck off. Yeah, like, fuck this guy forever. Fuck him. Go to hell. Yeah. <clears throat> I hope, I hope he, you know, I don't know. It's just always like. He's a known criminal, and like his a lot of his acts about how awful things he's done in life. Like, why would you not believe this one thing? Like, yeah, it, it's it's outlandish. And that's insane. the only. That's the thing that feels Dick Rider um, shit. Um, yeah, Death, Death, what the fucking nerve of gang is called? Oh, Death Squad. Death Squad. Oh my god. But the the. the I mean, I feel two ways about it, because people, because the thing to be like. Oh, he he is a you know he's admitted to being a criminal and doing all these bad things before. To be like, okay, so this could be a pattern of behavior. Mm -hmm. But also, it's the thing where it's like, that's like that's a very conservative, fair argument very and good point. defense. Very good point to me. So like, um, it's the same <laughs> thing about the George Floyd or or Richard Gross. Yes, very. To be point. like, he, they were a criminal in the past. So this is justified. So, yes. or they were doing something that justified mm -hmm. them being killed or anything. So I, I, I don't think that someone being a criminal in the past doesn't mean that they could repeat the same behavior over, over and over again. Sure. Because it's the same thing of... The image like, of like someone who's been good the whole life on paper. Or even like... <clears throat> like Oh, this is it like um, how serial killers get caught with like one, they, they go down for killing one person, mm -hmm. and then they're like, oh, by the way, it was thirty. Yeah. Or even you know, a much smaller thing. It's like I've been caught shoplifting twice, mm -hmm. and I've shoplifted hundreds of times. Like, it's a yes, it is a pattern of behavior, but a pattern of behavior isn't enough. To prove or disprove anything. Sure, okay. But that doesn't matter because he's on tape admitting it. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, good point. All, all, of the, all of the secondary points are like, it's all additional stuff. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take away or, or add to the fact that he admitted to it on tape, like on a recording of, not even on tape where it's like... It, it wasn't like Joe Rogan was wearing a wire. Right, right, right. <laughs> and was like, hey, Joey, so uh, what happens with, you know, it's like, he was on a podcast and he told the story because he thought it would be funny. Mm -hmm. And he thought it would be cool. Yeah. But, he's, but if he did it, that's... Yeah. Oh, but that's the thing where it's like, he didn't, he doesn't seem to be denying it and he doesn't seem to feel bad about well, it now. No. So, who fucking cares? Insane. Yeah, disgusting, uh, infuriating, yeah. and the Jeff Ross thing. Oh yeah, that came out. The Jeff, see, here's my. I couldn't. I couldn't even. I couldn't watch the video. I made myself watch it. Yeah, I didn't want to. I really wanted to not watch it. I, so I think you have a little bit more. I got like the gist of what it was, mm -hmm. but I watched like the first minute and a half, and I was like, I can't. Yeah, I can't watch this, man. Um, it's the I've still never <clears throat> watched the video of George Floyd. It's fucking hard. I know, it's but it's really, the thing where it's that's one of like, the hardest things I've ever seen. It's like I can't watch. I've already, you got it. You I already, already know what happened. You already know what happened. You're already fighting for the correct. I side. already, I already know that I'm against it. I yeah, already yeah, yeah. know. I don't need the. Image. I agree. I agree. Um, so this young, this this girl, well, this woman now, now's a woman, uh, basically, uh, told her story about a rela the relationship she had with Jeff Ross, comedian, um, comedian Jeff Ross, roast master Jeff Ross. Yeah. Um, when she was 15 years old and he was 33, the age I am now, yeah, the age Jesus was, um, uh, and she had, I want to make more jokes, but this is, I know, like, I this know, is fucking, fucking heavy. Um, she talks about how, uh, just pictures, like film pictures of us, them hanging out together, like yeah. him holding her basically. And then she explains the whole situation and how, um, she was she's a child. She didn't understand what was happening. Like, she's, you, you don't. It's the kind of thing when you're like that young, it's it's not until it's over and you get a little bit older, you recognize how fucking insane and awful it is. I mean, in the same way with that, you talking about your friend telling that story, the girl telling the story, and kind of being like, 
funny, but you're like, oh, this is a fucking terrible thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or even on a much smaller scale, it's like when you leave any relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a relationship between two consenting adults. Yeah. Like, oh, and you're like, oh, or a friendship, anything. And you're like, oh, this was bad. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah, I should have gotten out of this. Uh, yeah. But it shouldn't be on the. I want to make this very clear. The onus on that relationship should not be on the no, child. No. 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 No, um, of course not. Here's one thing I fucking, I just, I can't get out of my brain, I can't understand is, comedians hang out. If we're hanging out with a group of friends and the guy's like, hey, what's up, everybody? This is my girlfriend. And I go, oh, cool. Um, your girlfriend looks like a child. Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with your child-looking girlfriend? He's like, oh, she's 15. What the fuck are yeah. you talking get about? Get that fucking shit out of here. Get your child girlfriend away from me and also go to jail, bitch. Yeah. Um, so, also, I have seen, I've seen very little about it. It's not making yeah. the rounds in the same way everything else is. Um, I don't know why I'm not gonna fucking get any conspiracy theory. I'm just like, I'm, oh, that's interesting. interesting. I've only seen like Ian Carmel and a few women, female comedians, retweet it and yeah. share it. Uh, but it's like fucking disturbing. It's a fucking child. It's yeah. a fucking child, man. Um, so I hope uh, you know bad things happen to him a lot. Um, so fucking weird that this is the time. I mean. It, for any time, any any time a thing like this is exposed, especially the number in, uh, 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 of how many uh, male comedians are being exposed to being pieces of shit. I do declare. <clears throat> yeah, um, but especially during this time, it's like how many more things can we be fucking dealing with right now? Yeah. There's so many layers of of 2020. Yeah, it's it's really insane. It also, I think, it is a little like. It's not, not in regards to finding out about, you know, sexual misconduct and all that stuff. But I think it's funny, like, not fun, fuck. It's really hard to figure so out. That's right. it, yeah. To, um, Interesting, I guess. No, think. not even. It's just like, um, I don't think we realize how hard it has, like, because we've been here in New York the entire time. Yeah. I don't think we realize how much more difficult it has been to be here because we're here the whole time. So like when I talk to people who don't live in New York and I explain what it's been like to live here, they're shocked. Oh really? Like they don't like, have like nothing, like we can't do anything. No. Nothing is open. Mm -hmm. It's, there are, you know. We went to get a bagel this morning, closed. Closed, but not even that, it's just like, literally no, 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 things, yeah. no facilities are open. No, it's like, and maybe we're taking it more serious, not more seriously, but like we've been really we've been do we've been at really home. Good. Yeah, we've been really good about this. We and don't it's not even like mask. We don't. Yeah, yeah it's not even like I need to fucking need to be rewarded or no. no. But it's like I don't know. Maybe I'm just like extra freaked out about it or something. Like, but it's just like no, I'm. Uh, it sucks to just sit. Like yesterday. It was so funny. I was like texting with Sarah and she's like, are you all right? And I was like, I was like two in the morning. I was like, I just realized I didn't leave the house all day. Yeah. And that like really gets to me. Yeah. So it's like, oh fuck. That's what I'm like feeling fucking yeah. weird. Up and, and we also like sat and watched UFC for like oh yeah a long, long time. time. So it's not even like, but it was just like, oh, I sat in the same spot for six hours mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, What's okay. going on? The big, the, the great fireworks debate of 2020. That's very interesting. People are very concerned about it's, the Illuminati. It's a whatever it is. Dude, it's a crazy, it's a crazy debate because, so people, if you don't know, if you don't follow the same people I do, because you probably don't, because you fucking care about, you know, you care about your own sanity and well -being. want a timeline that isn't full of fucking insane people <laughs> and fucking insane narcissists that think everything is happening at them. Yeah. Um, but there are people for the, how long would you say? About two weeks. About two weeks or yeah, so. two weeks or so. Have been complaining nonstop about all the fireworks going off mm -hmm. in, in New York City. And maybe other places too, but I mostly follow people in New York and yeah. LA. Because that's where the people I know live. Mm -hmm. um, and they've been really, for two weeks straight, just being, just, uh, I can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Just like. Every night, it's so loud, yeah. my dog is scared. That's the thing. 
Where so it's <clears> like <throat> so last last night. This is Sunday, whatever. Hmm. The fucking twenty first. Last night, Saturday night, twentieth. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Fuck, I gotta call my dad. Maybe I'll call him like he calls me on my birthday. I'll call him tomorrow. <laughs> I'll call him tomorrow and leave him a voicemail. Hey, how are you? Hey, I forgot it. Sorry. Take it uh, easy. All right. Bye. It's dad. Uh, you say that to him. Yeah, I say that to him. Um, but yeah, so last night, the 20th, this thread started going around on Twitter that mm -hmm. I saw people were tweeting about how this one guy was convinced it's like a... Psyop. Um, there's like a, a you know like a, a psyop installment almost yeah. from the NYPD or someone to to cause chaos. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that I'm not even it's a, it's to, it was to un, you know to to sow kind of uh, insecurity, emotional insecurity in in black and brown community. Yeah. And the thing is, I'm not even against that theory. Sure. It's a theory. The thing is, that's not what people have been saying for two weeks. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't, like, people being like, this is a psyop against black and brown communities. Or if you think this is just people setting off fireworks, look into COINTELPRO uh -huh. and all these other things. It's like, I don't think those things didn't happen. And I don't think that it's not a possibility mm. that the NYPD could either be setting off fireworks about, like, setting off fireworks in neighborhoods to cause unrest mm -hmm. and then have people call them and tell them they can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Or that they are somehow distributing. Right fireworks yeah <clears throat> but that's the thing is weeks before july 4th that's not what <clears throat> people have been saying no people for two weeks have been like the f my pupper my, yeah. my, 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 my the sad doggo is my like, doggo is sad yeah it's like, shut the fuck up my small doggo yeah how about this oh, don't have a fucking dog don't have a dog in new york city dogs suck that's a good idea dogs suck i don't like them mike doesn't like dogs i hate dogs i've walked dogs for five years i hate them now they're I my enemy it. I get it. Um, I've dated women. <laughs> bro. Uh, I mean, that I hate them now, not that they're dogs. I'm just thinking about that. Very clear. Dating a woman with a dog. It's and a having, lot. Having to pretend about that you care about the dog. I think most people wouldn't have to pretend, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, for me, to have to pretend I like the dog. Oh, yeah, I love the thing that you care about more than me that steps on my penis all the time. Oh, it loves to That kind of dog, nothing more than like to step There's on nothing, penis. There's nothing. I think dogs. I, here's my conspiracy theory. Dogs have little radar sensors on their paws to step on your penis the most. <laughs> hey, I like your penis. You're gonna, gonna, gonna fuck my mom? You're gonna, gonna fuck my mom. I'm gonna fucking ruin your penis. <laughs> I'm like, listen, buddy, this thing's been ruined for years. Hey, hey buddy, you're fucking preaching to the penis choir. Yeah. Man. But yeah, the thing. But yeah, I don't think it's not a possibility. Right, that's all we're. Yeah, I don't we're think not we're saying it's definitely not a conspiracy theory, or it's definitely not a possibility. Yeah. Quite possible. I hate the police. But to I think, think that. To think, if this was happening uh, in November, I'd be like, that's interesting. It's, it's happening weeks before July 4th. Yeah. There's nothing else going on. Fine. I get it. I don't know. I just don't Yeah. Know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm just not one to immediately jump no. and be like, it has to be a PSYOP mission from the NYPD. Yeah. A bunch of idiots who think... They got poisoned at Shake Shack, definitely planted fireworks all over the city. Yeah. And not to say that they haven't done awful things. Absolutely. Not saying The that. entire time they've been a, They're an off. organization. They're a gang. They suck dick. But and to think way. that all of it, like, all of a sudden, they, the George Floyd protests happened, and the anti-police sentiment shot up in the city, and then all of a sudden, the police... I don't know, man. This is gonna... Dude, I bet you in three weeks this clip is gonna come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> to be like, it was definitely the cops. Well, the we're not saying... That's the thing. We're not saying... I'm not saying it's, it's not, not the it's cops. Not gonna bite you. We're just don't I'm think... Just, I just... I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure about anything. Anything. Literally anything in the world. Are we best friends? 
Possibly. Ninety percent. I'm sure there's better friends than us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's two guys who are better friends than uh -huh. us. <laughs> okay. Do you think best friend Olympics? No, that'd be fun. Um, do you think guys who like? For two guy friends who try to have threesomes with one woman. Uh -huh. Do you think they're better or worse friends than us? I don't know. I don't. Um, I think it's a different type of friendship. Okay. I think. I think. Male ours, friends. I think ours who, is highly emotional and yeah, theirs is not. Yeah, theirs is highly highly sexual. Yeah. Um, I feel like friends that try to routinely fuck the same woman together are just getting closer to fucking each other and they're afraid to do it. I don't know, man. I don't think so. Okay. I think that that's like a weird... Not not the, not the you, you're trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. But I think that's like a weird... Um, like cop-out kind of theory of some people. Oh, okay. Fair. Of, I see your point. Of, of I see being your point. like hyper-masculine guys are, are always gay. Good point. That's I like the joke. Right. No, 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 no. I think you're trying to be funny. I don't think you're like serious. making some fucking serious statement. But that's like the thing where it's like... Every hyper-masculine guy is secretly gay. Right, right. And some guys, some, you know, closeted gay men will overcompensate mm -hmm. by trying to appear what they assume is more straight, straight, aggressive, straight. aggressive. But there's some guys that are just fucking like that. Yeah, that's true. That's like, true. how many... It's like, oh... Does every... Like, it's like, they think every guy... Who like huge like all the the fucking ripped monster guys at at the gym? Mm -hmm. There are people whose theory is all those guys are gay. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All those guys are secretly gay and they have little penises. That's, yeah, Guess what? That's Some ridiculous. of those, a lot of those guys are straight and they probably have huge cocks. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah. That I'm sorry that you try like that. There is something about them that you don't like. Right. Sure. You know, it doesn't have to be, but like the the the, the racism is little dick energy. It's like there's a lot of racism. There's a lot of cocks. Big. Farm cocks. Yeah. Huge dude. Dude really f filling out the front of their Wranglers. Yeah. Who also don't like black people. That's yeah. Like, yeah. And they, they are, are racist. Are, and they're racist. That doesn't mean. Yeah. It's just stupid. It's, it's so stupid. funny it's to so be stupid. like body positivity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless you have a little dick. <laughs> Fuck you. I have a little sure. penis. Some of little. Yeah, we have little penises. You don't like us now. All of a sudden, what's the problem? It's fun to have. Uh, to your best friend also has a little penis. It's great. I like that. It's a fun, fair household. What? An unbelievably small penis household. Mm -hmm. The mean, medium mode, pretty small. Ba -da 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 -da. Un, un poquito. Nope. Wait, finish. I don't know how to say penis. Yeah, goddamn right you don't. Neither do I. Um, un, un beso poquito. <laughs> Little kiss, boys. Little kiss, boys. Ba -ba 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 Look enough for me. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me, too. <laughs> Follow Michael Brucey at Michael Brucey. Follow Diego Lopez at this Diego Lopez. Brightmachinenetwork.com. Uh, a little time pod at gmail.com for all of your questions. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Somebody emailed us a while ago. Do you want to answer the question? Or we already started doing polls? Nah, we'll, do we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. Um, at little time pod on both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, tpublic.com <laughs> slash user slash a little time pod. Thumbs up, subscribe, rate, and review. Again, the link for my GoFundMe is on my Instagram and my Twitter. This is David Lopez. If you can spare a couple bucks, I'd really, really appreciate it. God bless you. Kiss in the mouth. Uh, fuck sexual partners to hell. God bless America. God bless America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Fuck. God. Fuck the, fuck the police. That's what it was. God, God bless God. God bless God. Not that. Not even blessing God out here. <laughs> <laughs>